working on my son's 1994 Toyota Celica and it's not starting. The only thing that I tested so far is just to see if we were missing spark and we are missing it. Let's start with that point and then we're gonna run through this live together. So what we're, what we're doing here guys is way inside there is the electrode and I'm just leaving a small air gap between the electrode and the end of my test light and then I'm gonna crank it. Okay, no spark there at all. It really should spark pretty much all the way to the end of this boot. There's no spark and we can confirm it one more place which is right at the distributor itself. This might be easier for you guys to see on the camera. Notice the electrode inside the cap. I'm just using an air gap for my test light, cranking it over. Okay, so no spark on the distributor cap either. And by the way, that was a different cylinder, the one that I just checked at the cap. Let's go inside and watch the tachometer, see if we have a little tachometer bounce. That'll give us some good direction too. Let's go inside. See the flutter of that needle? That tells me that we have good inputs as far as the needle bouncing. And as I'm sitting here, this is the first time I noticed this, I smell fuel. That suggests our injectors are firing. And so we're going really in a completely different direction than I thought we were going. Let's go back under the hood. Okay, given that test, we can actually confirm the inputs to the computer by doing a quick injection pulse test. I'm just going to unplug my fuel injector. We're gonna do two tests. The first thing we're gonna do is check for battery voltage on the injector connector. One of these two should be battery voltage. And then the second thing we'll do, we'll switch the polarity of the test light to battery positive and we'll check for a pulse. So let me show you what I'm doing. I'll walk you through it. Battery positive on this side. My test light's back on ground. No, no battery voltage on this side. That's my control wire. Battery feed. This is control. And on control, it is a ground side switched circuit. Okay, we're pulsing the ground. The engine computer is gonna pulse the ground of the fuel injector. So my test light is now connected to positive because what I want my light to do is light when I touch ground. Remember when the light finds a ground, it's going to light. The computer is pulsing this circuit, watch. Okay, we have injection pulse. That means we have good inputs. That means the tachometer moving that I saw was accurate. And so what we're looking at for no spark, we're pretty much down to a faulty igniter or faulty coil. That's where we are right now like just in the matter of just a couple of quick tests. Um, what I wanna do before we continue, let's make sure we all follow this ignition system design. So I'm gonna take you over to a wiring diagram. We're gonna take a look at it. And this lesson is for my son, Caleb too. 